Hey guys, so <clears throat> so I got a job over here that's got some uh, lake and uh, mill. Uh, so I figure it's going to be a good job to do a couple examples. Um, so what we're looking at it, it's, uh, this is a 1.5 outside. We actually had a ground and polish uh, material, so the material is still stock. We have an M8 uh, super long thread. Uh, 270 drill, two inches deep, and then from the top you see there's gonna be a M12 by one set by 1.75 tap. Do not break through. You got your distances here, your groove right here. Outside drill it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so let me plot a program. Let's hide this. So first uh, facing. So we're using a 55 and 35. So this is the only place where I put the numbers is uh, so I don't have to switch between 55. So we got a facing with the 55, then uh, turning with 55, and then uh, facing finish with 35, and uh, OD finish with 35. Uh, the only thing that it was, we did it, I did it is, uh, is the radius over here since the material is too tight. Next is a drill. So the drill is going to be regular turning drill, 940,000. So we're going from uh, 0 to 1.25, so 1 inch and a quarter. Uh, the depth of cut, you know, it's um, a, since it's an indexable drill, I put it a little bit longer so it doesn't pack. Uh, so use a pattern 1. If you use a pattern 0, the drill goes in slowly and it comes out slowly too. So this hole is one inch, it's one and a quarter, so we go a little bit smaller. Okay, now we have another, this is a uh, 3 8 spot face drill, right here. And this thing is in a, is three, this is a three quarter, so 0.75 collet, and uh, so the collet is smaller, so just in case if it's not long enough, the spot face, it can get inside of that hole and uh, so get a little extra reach. And that spot face does this chamfer right here uh, for the taper. So you have to calculate, they're pretty close, but like I said, I mean, if you do wanna, let's say do a 100,000 chamfer, then you're gonna go 50,000. Uh, deep with a 45 degree uh, <coughs> 45 degree or you can call it 90 degree spot face drill so the drill goes from uh, 1 inch to 1 inch 420 so I started about 250 before before the face then we have a regular turning so half an inch boring bar and uh, I started the reason I went with half an inch because so I started with 0.5 so actually cleans up the whole face inside so you don't see those ridges from uh, from those indexable drills. Now we're going with the drill, which is a 270 drill, uh, and same thing, starting one inch, and we're going to three inches and 350. And this is the drill we're talking about. This drill is also in a three eighths of a collet, uh, so it actually goes inside of the hole a little bit. So yeah, we get a, you know, instead of a hole, you get another inch of a reach. Uh, and then I did a tapping in a milling holder. So we have a tapping on XC, M8. This is your major, that's that's automatically done. Pitch, if it's a little bit, uh, it's not a standard pitch, make sure your pitch is good. We're going 2.25 uh, deep. Uh, it's supposed to be three and a half. The issue is, that see that spiral it's not it's not far enough to go to like past two inches deep so i actually did uh went about an inch and a quarter deep and then i finished by uh hand tapping but there's an option where you can do uh packing with the tap so it'll go in and out and you can probably do it that way but since i only have a couple like three four pieces i don't want to bother with that um so we have a tapping xc and then you have tap edge so that's for the face m8 your hole size your hole depth tap it's fixed and uh 
speed, you know, 30 uh, feet rate, that's going to be your pitch. And then point, okay, we're in our center, so start zero, C, zero. So we're starting from zero. So this is it. Now, uh, we're going to start doing this. So first is going to be a chamfer here, then a drill, and then a tap. So now we're drilling on ZC axle. It's a half an inch uh, spot face. We're going 235,000 deep. Okay, so this is the drill out, 0.5 spot face, half an inch hole. It's not, you know, you're not going all the way in, but almost 235 deep. Uh, pre diameter zero, we're going 100% deep. 250 that's uh that was automatically assigned speed 100 uh, feed rate 3000 and a mate for coolant and the same thing uh sptr so starting point radius 750 because the materials inch and a half uh three inches on a z because it tells you right here from here to here to the center is three inches Y0 and so on. Now we're going with the drill. It's gonna be the same. You, you can literally copy everything because it's gonna be same position, same uh, stopping. The only difference is that the diameter is 400 instead of five and the depth is one and a quarter. So you just change that. And now we have same thing. Tapping, ZC, M12, your pitches, tap depth, one inch, chamfer. Uh, that usually is automatically assigned and then same thing it's three is 0.75 uh three inches on a z so i got a 25 speed on this one so because it's a little bit larger tap and then groove inside so that's done with the with this ph horn groover this is the tap drill and like i said you know you're going bars drills and a cutoff tool so groove in look at the groove so we got 60,000 from the face 187 plus 5,000 so we go 189 and a half and then there's your depth so pattern one so zero is good for cutoff one it's so when you do pattern one you start uh, your position starting position is gonna be your starting position Z is the starting of the groove on a uh, pattern zero it's the end of the groove this it's a good for cutoff so if you if it let's say um, you cut you, you want something to be a hundred thousand um, and then your blade is hundred thousand then you're starting uh, on a Z it's gonna be 200 uh, that's when you're on the pattern zero so pattern one one groove zero pitch width of the groove finish your tool so this is going to be my uh, 94,000 wide groove 20,000 uh, depth per cut these are my speeds and feet and then simple 13,000 radius corner starting one inch starting z 60,000 and then how deep you're going to go on x so we're going up to one inch and 243 and same thing the z it has to be the same so it's 60,000 because the width of the cut is going to be here Okay, it's not gonna be on your final point Z. And then this is my cutoff. So how you see this is gonna be groove, pattern zero, number one, groove, with 118,000. And then starting 1.5, uh, so four inches and 150,000 on the Z. And we're dropping to 150, so that's 150,000 it's enough when you have like about four inch part you can uh, hit it with the sledgehammer and it's gonna fall off and then so we have an end that's gonna be first operation second operation is just facing and uh, throw in the radius in the corner and another end so that means this is our second operation yeah so this is an example like I said of uh, another part thank you